Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a really fun little collab with Sarah, aka Glowshiner, here on YouTube as well as Instagram. She does some tutorials as well as her project pan that she's been working on. So if you're into project pan, then I definitely recommend checking her out. She makes it so fun. I love watching her because she's so funny and sarcastic and, and she makes me laugh so hard. And there's just something about watching other people finish makeup that's so interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure why. But I really enjoy her videos. You should definitely check her out. She also has an Instagram where she posts absolutely beautiful photos. And her aesthetic on her Instagram is very unique. I feel like she has a really great design sense, even just with her YouTube thumbnails. I had to ask her, I was like, are you a graphic designer? Because I feel like everything she produces is so high quality and so unique and she just adds a little bit of like graphic spin on it and being a designer myself i really appreciate when people pay attention to the finer details so let me explain what this collaboration will be i have a bunch of these color schemes that i saved in, on my pinterest board and i was like i'm gonna do makeup looks inspired by these and i never did and then when i asked her to the collab i thought it'd be really fun if we picked out a kind of um, color palette storyboard um, for each other and create a looks and obviously given that we have those shades and eyeshadow that we would create a look with the shades in the color scheme I really wanted to pick something a little bit unique for her and also something that I felt Reflected her personality and just like embodied her as a person So if you would like to see a wool color palette I chose for her I will link her channel and her video down below so for me she chose this color scheme, I will put it up right here. So she also wrote why she chose this color palette for me. And I will just read some of it because I'm really bad at remembering and summarizing things. So she says, you're great with color. Thank you. And I love to see an innovative way to make the blues and hot pink, not 80s or Barbie vibes. So next I'm gonna show you the shades that I picked based on the photo that I own that are the closest possible to the shades in the picture. So let me show you the shades I picked. The first shade is Cosette Crimson and it's a little bit on it's a little bit brighter than what is in the photo, but it is a great matte. So the next one is Love Lux Beauty Intrigue and this is a slightly metallic, a little bit more in the satin side, bright pink shade. And then next I have Blue Jeans from Give Me Glow. I felt this one will be perfect because even though it's a shimmer, it has the same kind of color value. The next shade over was much harder. It's like a washed denim kind of shade compared to the one right next to it, which is a more deep blue true jean color. So for this one, I was in between two shades, Fixated by Mouth Cosmetics and Giggity by Luxy. And I dropped this shade when I was comparing it in the sunlight. However, in natural lighting, Giggity does have just a little bit more blue than Fixated, so I went with that one. And lastly, we got two really nice deep blue shades. We got the Dim Out Half of this Mouth Cosmetics pan and Cosette Jack. And this is a hard one because they are pretty similar, but it decided on using the Cosette shade. The Cosette shade in natural lighting looked just a little bit more deep, which is what I was looking for. So this is the final lineup. And even though some of these are not perfect matches, I think they're close enough. You get the same vibe as from the photo. So now let's get started with the look. So I think I have an idea of the kind of look I want to do. I feel like this color scheme is very romantic, which I love about it. So first I'm going to go in with Giggity in my crease. And because the shade is a bit darker than I would usually like to go in my crease, I'm going to go in very slowly. And I primed my lid with the Makeup Revolution Categories Canvas. So I'm going in lightly and blending it out first and then I will kind of build up the depth. I don't remember the last time I put a gray shade in my crease. Probably never. Alright, next I'm going to go in with the Cosette eyeshadow in Jack. It's a small blending brush in the outer crease of my lid. And I'm going to kind of put this on at an angle. And that's where I'm going to stop. I'm going to go in with the blending brush that I was using before. I switched out my lens. I was using a different one. But so this is where we left off. So next I'm going to cut the crease and I'm going to be using the Peel Me Space. So it'll be kind of like a half cut crease. So 
So now I'm gonna go in with the first shimmer, which is Give Me Glow Blue Jeans. And this is gonna be kind of my center lid transition. And then I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm gonna go in with Love Lux Beauty Intrigue, which is the pink. And I'm gonna put this on my inner lid and just blend it in with the other shimmer. And we're back, I put on some lashes, so now we're gonna do the lower lash line. So first, I'm gonna connect the dark blue on my lower lash line. And only one shade is left, and this is Cosette Crimson. And that's gonna go and connect with the dark blue all along my lower lash line. And for the last finishing touch, I'm going to put the ColourPop Gel Liner in Insomniac in my waterline. And this is the finished look. So I also put on a nude lip, this is Lime Crime Marshmallow, and I put an inner corner highlight, which is Christian Leanne's Electric Highlighter. I really enjoyed putting these colors together from my own collection and just playing around with a color scheme that I would have otherwise not come up with myself. So definitely would like to do this again sometime. And I cannot wait to see what Sarah created with the color scheme that I gave to her. I know she's gonna knock it out of the park. So I'm really excited. So make sure you go and check out her channel. And thank you Sarah so much for collaborating with me. It's been a dream come true and I hope that there will be some more collaborations in the future as well. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope to see you next time.